Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the the Daily Mass. And today is Saturday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household? Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is getting really specific in some of his instructions and some of his challenges for his apostles before they go on the first missionary journey. Again, it has to be uh, put into their hearts that not only are they preparing for this one event, but they're preparing for a lifetime in their apostolic ministry. And so he's giving them the full course meal here in the beginning before they are sent off on their mission. And he again reminds them that what they are called to do is to be like him. They are his disciple. And they are not to go out and become more than what he is, not to go out and become less, but rather to be faithful as his disciples. As uh, Jesus says here, uh, it's enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher. That's the goal. It isn't to go out and do more and do better, but to just go out and, And do the same. Do what Jesus himself is doing. And again, he's really challenging them and encouraging them. Don't get uh, nervous or fearful of those who are your opponents. Kind of hints at that back in if the master of the house, uh, if they call the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household. He was being facetious because the uh, Pharisees were calling him Beelzebul. So he's saying, well, if they're calling me that, then that's the way that they're looking at you. And you got to remember, as he said, that whatever is done in secret is going to be revealed. Whatever is um, hidden is not going to stay that way. That the lives of these that are opponents are not going to remain uh, safe in the midst of all that's going on. And again, whatever he said, whatever I've said to you, speak it in the light. Whatever I've shared with you, shout it from the housetops. I don't have anything to hide. I'm not giving you one message and the world another. I'm not saying to you that I'm doing this and the world thinks I'm doing that. But you can be confident that whatever I'm sharing with you, don't hold back. Share it with everybody around you. And He also goes on to, again, remind them that if there are those who can do something to the body, can imprison or torture, those aren't the people to fear. The one to fear is the one who not only can have uh, absolute authority over the body, but also the soul, talking about God himself. And then he goes on to talk about, and that being said, just remember who you are in the heart of God. God knows when sparrows fall. God knows how many hairs are on your head. 
And, you know, all of these things are being said to let them know he knows you and he loves you as you continue to acknowledge um, him, acknowledge Jesus, that God the Father will acknowledge you. How powerful, powerful and encouraging that is to hear. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, as always, it's good to be with you. And we're just concluding the 14th week of Ordinary Time, making it into week 15. We have a long way to go to get to Advent, but uh, I love this season of Ordinary Time. I love it because it's a time when we remember that God loves to do extraordinary things for us, in us and through us, in these ordinary days. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.